up family welcome back to the channel it's good to have you guys back here at the channel so in today's tutorial i'm going to be making this um is a moon shape or semi circle bag it is an ankara patchwork mixed leather project so if this is something you would like to see please stay tuned to the channel and let's just go straight into the tutorial so i'm going to be explaining this video um the one that you're going to be seeing and and I'm going to be explaining it for those who want to use ordinary leather for this uh, project. Maybe you want to do an ordinary leather project. So you could also watch uh, this tutorial. So the measurement for both this Ankara project and the leather project is the same thing. So this is just me. I cut out a 6 inches in height. That is, height is 6 inches and the width is um, 10 inches. So it depends on how you want um, the... And it depends on how wide you want it to be and depend on how uh, long you want it to be so after doing that i just made a cuff now this is the upper part of this um of this uh, bag you know it's it is in two parts so this is that that is the upper part so you are just going to cut that and that is going to serve as your pattern paper now the second part is going to be the leather part that is the one that we stitch on top but before then i went ahead to cut out a two by two inches two by three inches thin that is going to be for uh, the handle old the handle order so just watch me and see how i made that cuff i just folded it since the d-ring i want to be using is going to be one inches so i'm just going to make a curve in such a way that when i open it like this i have one inches on the top so when i put my d-ring i'll just fold it in like this and I will just stitch it so I just hope you understand so I'm going to go ahead and cut out four of that so now for the bottom part I measured it and I confirmed that it was still 10 inches so I am going to cut out that same 10 inches in width by 2 inches in in um in height so it depends you can make it three inches you can make it two inches depending on the effect you want but I realized that two inches you know give it a much better much better um effect it's not too big it's not too small it's just perfect now you go ahead and cut out two that is going to be for the front and the back so uh after cutting it out this is what you should this is what you should have so thank you guys for tuning into the channel once again if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to the channel i love you and god bless you thank you for commenting thank you for liking my videos and um thank you for always sharing my tutorials and if you are just tuning into the channel for the very first time please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorials because on this channel we have many more amazing tutorials to show you guys so this part that i'm trying to cut is the part that is going to be it's going to be the extension of the zipper so i'm cutting two inches in length by one inches you can cut it two by two inches no while so this just means i've gone ahead and make my ankara stitches now you can use an interfacing here but because i don't there's no light and the clients wanted to collect the job like that very day i had to use a chipboard which is um and a, a cardboard paper as a stabilizer so but if you are using leather you don't need to put any stabilizer because leather is more thicker than an ankara fabric ankara fabrics are very very light but leather is much uh, thicker than an ankara fabric so you could just keep this process that you are seeing now this particular process that i am doing now you could skip it but if you want to use a jean fabric or you are using an ankara fabric the way i'm using like this you could use this same chipboard as a stabilizer or you use a an interfacing that's gum stay as the stabilizer so this is just me trying to just um cover my rough edges i'll go ahead and cover my rough edges and i'll go ahead and put uh, my lining on it
for one i'll do for the two so now i'm just going to overlap it by half inches please the leather is going to be on top i'll just overlap it by one quarter of an inch not half inches please one quarter of an inch so what i do for one is what i'll do for the second one so the next thing i'll go ahead and do is to put the the zebra right side facing each other and just go ahead and make a straight stitch then i'll also top stitch so that it will be easy for me to zip my bag when i am done so after putting the zipper to one side of the bag i am just going to go ahead and start putting uh the handle holder so i didn't make any measurements i was just doing freehand but in case you were asking for the measurements you could come down from the zipper by 1.5 inches or 2 inches and from the side from the top you could come down by 2.5 inches from the side you come out by the same 2.5 inches then you put your uh your uh holder your square hole your square ring this is a square ring then you just stitch then when you're done stitching the four you go ahead and stitch the second side of the zipper then you turn it inside out so this is what it looks like um when you're done stitching so the stabilizer that we put made it to stay in place so like i said you could if you are using a leather you you are to skip that is the only part you are to skip the part where me i was putting the uh, stabilizer that's the only part you would skip but every other thing you are to do i just hope you understand now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do now is to start um working on the bottom so now to decide the amount of fabric you need to cut out for the bottom depend decide depending on the width of the bag that you want so if you want the bottom to be four inches wide now what you're going to go ahead and do is to start making your markings please if if you can see I, I was using my hand to do mathematics here yes but i'm going to explain now let's say for instance you want the bag the bottom of the bag to be four inches wide now what you're going to go ahead and do is from the you know it is equal like this so you make your markings since you want it to be four inches wide so you make your matching markings from both ends. you mark two inches from both ends please i just hope you understand what i am saying you mark four inches from both and uh, sorry two inches from both ends. so you see what i am doing now i marked four two inches here sorry so when you duplicate it to be front and back four inches i just hope you understand so after markings then you now measure the thing you have left the measurement you have left is going to decide, decide the amount of um, fabric you will cut so i after making my markings i the measurement i have left i, I added one inches so you see two inches from both side two inches from both side make your markings then the amount you have now you will now measure from that two inches to the other to the next two inches Waiting, you get make us be broken for now. <laughs> you add one inches because we are going to be making a curve and we'll be piping it. So when you pipe it and you make a curve, it will reduce the inches. So I got around 7.5 inches. So I added one inches. So I am cutting out four inches in width by eight inches in uh, length. So I'm going to make my notches on the two sides. Then I also make my notches on the um on the main bag as well. Please, the measurements you need for the pipe is I if you are not using an already made pipe and you want to pipe the bag, you could you could use a leather that is half inches wide. Please, half inches white but me i was using an ankara fabric so i used an ankara fabric that was um one inches um in width and i folded it into four because i wanted it to be to give it the shape to come out well and strong the reason why we pipe the edges of bag is to is to make it sit properly now this is also also op uh, optional depending on the amount of money you are collecting from the client you could put a bottom stand for the bag you could put four bottom stand before you pipe the bag you could put four bottom stand but since i am not collecting plenty money from the client i did not put 
bottom stands. Everything now is now expensive. So you need to do your mathematics very well, my people. Mathematics. Don't come and now saying you want to start gaining 500 or 300 in a bag. Uh -uh. Do you know how many hours it takes to make one bag that you want to start making profit of 300 naira? God forbid. Anyways, so after I have already piped the bag, this is me. I want to just go ahead and stitch it round. So I'm going to take you <laughs> along to the sewing machine so that you see how to sew the background so the reason why we make those two notches is so that it will serve as a guide so that you know where you are starting from and um, where you are ending so that the bag one side will not be on the right side and the other side will not be on the wrong side so just keep watching and after after stitching the next thing you go ahead and do is to work on the handle the handle is a four inches <laughs> in length and um sorry four inches in width and 14 inches in length then you just fold it and just sew it like a bias and um, that is basically everything about this tutorial i hope you learned something and um, i hope you're going to give me a thumbs up i hope you're going to subscribe if you've not <laughs>